Hey guys, I'm here to give you my secret homemade potato style soup. I make it whenever I'm hungry and it's on like a little small serving for two people if needed. I'm all, this is what you would need for this recipe. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, fresh cut garlic or shredded garlic, whatever you want to use. One, one to two rustic potatoes, butter, water, and a medium saucepan, half and half coffee creamer. I know it seems weird, but that's what I use. Half and half coffee creamer. Measuring cup, spoon, whisk, anything like that you would need. Technically, this is a one-pot recipe, but you can use a spare bowl on the side if you need to. Okay, guys, let's get into the recipe and how to make it. This is how I make it. I chop up the potatoes, rinse and chop up the potatoes into squares, into cubes, I guess. In a medium to small saucepan, I fill it up halfway with water. I put the salt, the pepper. I eyeball it. I just make maybe a teaspoon of each. Depends how much salt and pepper. You just judge. You be the judge. That's what I do. Put salt, pepper, all the seasonings in it. I, I told you before. Put the potato. Start the water. Let it boil until it's boiling. Like until it's roaring. Put in the potatoes, gently put in the potato slices. Cook them until, the, until they're soft or until you like them soft. Whatever you like them soft. Cook them until they're soft. And then, you're like, oh no, you don't need to strain the juice. This is what you do. You take the potatoes out of the water with like a spoon or a slotted spoon to get all the potatoes out. Put them in a separate bowl. Keep the juice on the stove on medium heat. The um the water that you cook the potatoes in with all the seasoning and stuff in it. Mash up the potatoes. Put those aside. Get your your half and half creamer. Get one one third no, one fourth cup of that. Dump it in the water with the potato seasoning water. The water you just cooked the potatoes in with all the seasoning and stuff in it. Mix that up until it's combined. Mix it for a good minute on low medium heat. Get two to two and a half tablespoons of flour. Mix that in to the pot with the creamer and seasoning and stuff. Mix it until it's thick. And so it starts thick. Don't don't mix it too long. And then if you need to, you can add like a couple teaspoons of water if it gets too thick. And then you mash up the potatoes. And then you put the mashed potatoes into the mixture that on the stove. Mix that in with the whisk. Mix it, mix it until it's thick. And then season to taste the way you like it. You can make it spicy, you can make it anything you want. If optional, you can put any meat that you want in there. Like I put, sometimes I put ground beef in there. I pre-cooked ground beef. <clears throat> put a little, like a handful in there. Mix it up. And then put it into a serving bowl. Let it cool for like 20 minutes because it might be super hot. And then enjoy. That's my homemade potato soup recipe with optional meat. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys. If you make this recipe, please leave a comment. Love you guys. Bye. One more I forgot the thing to say for the soup. 
if optional, you can put yellow cheddar jack cheese shredded into the soup and mix it up and it could be a cheesy potato soup if wanted. That's what I do sometimes. So, thanks.